In the last lesson, we created a sign that you see on the screen now. There are two ways to cut a design. The first way is to click on the file pull down menu and click on cut slash plot with the shortcut key being control L or simply click on the cut tool icon. This will open production manager. At first, it will display two windows. The first window is one we became familiar with when we set up our cutter. This is where it will queue up the jobs to send to the cutter. The other window is the cut plot window. This is where we can prepare the job design with last minute changes prior to sending it to the cutter. This is essentially control central for cutting our job. This is what we are going to mostly examine in this tutorial. Let's get familiar with the layout of this application. Displayed at the top of the window is the current cutter. If there is more than one cutter, clicking on this side arrow will display those cutters. The cutter that is currently displayed will be the one the design will be sent to. The green button will switch to the production manager. Just to the right is where we can see what is being sent to the cutter. Jobs are generally downloaded immediately to the cutter, so you may not see jobs that were just sent. Later on, we'll discuss how jobs can be placed on hold. When they are, they will be displayed in this window along with their status. The larger part of the app below are settings. They conveniently categorize them into four sections. Each section is represented by these tabs. The first tab is for general settings. The second tab settings are for paneling or what some users call tiling. The third tab settings provide different options such as weed settings. The last tab contains some of the more advanced settings. There are too many options to cover in this one lesson. In this lesson, we'll cover some of the basic settings found in the general page and the options page. Let's go back to the first tab or the general settings. At the right of the settings is a display area. This represents the size of the media in relation to the design being cut. Any changes in the options on the left will be reflected in this window. These arrows at the bottom of the display area show the direction the media travels in the cutter. To give us a better understanding, if we were to overlay a cutter on this display area, the front of the cutter would be facing down and the media would be traveling in that same direction. The display area has zoom tools as well. Here's the bounding box zoom to media, and zoom to design. There is a pointer that acts as a pan tool. At the top of the general settings is the material. Here is where we set the size of our media. It is generally set to a size that reflects the idea that you are using a roll of media. If you are wondering why the media is set to 23.622 when 24 inch media is loaded, that's because it is the limitation of the cutter. This may be due to the location of the outside wheels. This size is reflected in the display area to the side, relative to the design. This provides an idea of how the design will fit within the media. To demonstrate this, if we need a custom size, such as in the case of using smaller media, then we can click on the side arrow, select User Defined, and the two values below become active. Let's say we are cutting a 15 inch roll of media. This can be entered in for the width and press enter. Notice that the design becomes too large for our 15 inch media size indicated by the design being split in two. We would have to reduce the size of the design or increase the size of the media. If you are unsure of the media size, the button with a question mark on it is the poll page size. Clicking on this button will obtain the size from the cutter and adjust the media in the display area accordingly. Just below the material setting is the send mode options. When we send the job from here to the productions manager, we can set what we want to do with it. The choices are send now, which will send the job immediately or as soon as possible to the cutter. Hold on list holds the job until it is released in the production manager queue. 
Save to file will save the job to a PLT or plot file to be reloaded at another time. Let's set this to hold on list. This way jobs can be stacked up, allowing us the opportunity to load the appropriate vinyl color or type, and adjusting the cutter settings such as force and speed before the job is sent. 